Can do you it set? want me to clap? Oh, sure. Okay. Perfect. Made eye contact. <laughs> <laughs> you want to state your name? Yes. My name is Mackenzie Bling. And um, what is what is your business? Yes. Um, so I have a small self-owned jewelry business called Celestial Body Jewelry, which I have been running for nearly four years now. <laughs> the jewelry is definitely it's incorporated and inspired by nature. Part of that for me is just the experience that I share with the outdoors. Being in nature is a very complicated experience just because it has a lot of layers to it. I would say that there's a component of spirituality that comes with being immersed in the environment for me. I feel as though nature has always been a welcoming community. There is a certain type of relationship that I've developed with the surroundings of certain environments that has really made me feel comfortable and welcomed. And sometimes it's nice to have that sense of retreat. Nature is also super important to me just because it's a way to get in touch with myself and my creative side. go out on these hikes or um, go like meditate out in the forest somewhere. I like to really pay attention to small little details and kind of um, find a way that I can almost translate the beauty of nature into like the metal that I make. That itty bitty detail, something that like you wouldn't necessarily notice if you just looked at the plant. You had to go up and you had to pay attention to it, you had to touch the plant, you had to engage with it in some way to understand like its potential. Yeah, it's just like where I find my inspiration to make the things that I do. Mm -hmm. Where are we? We're in my studio. Just kidding, I don't call it my studio. <laughs> this is a place that I work on my jewelry. This is a place where I sleep. This is a place where I work on my homework. That is my space. Yeah, so this is my academic desk where I do most of my homework and everything. I'm very studious at this desk, but then if you look over here, I have a whole other desk devoted towards my jewelry and my craft. That's one of the perks of being a CA, is like I get my own room, and thus I get two desks. What is the impact that you want your jewelry to have on someone? Such a good question. I definitely, I want my jewelry to impact the people that buy it. You know, I want my customers, the people that buy and wear my jewelry, to be uplifted by it and make them like feel really good and confident within themselves, like make them feel beautiful. But then also a big part of my jewelry, like I said, is tied into my ideals and 
like this I this passion that I have for the environment and like the natural surroundings. So I want it to inspire people to also kind of pay more attention to those nitty gritty details within the environment, within nature. But I also want them to, you know, kind of think about the inspiration or think about like the the reasoning behind the product and why it was made. And it's a lot, I will say, this is why I love doing farmer's markets, it's a lot easier to express that in person. And it's a lot easier for me to be like, yes, I made this product because of this, or like because of this jewel weed, or because of like some other natural phenomenon. And I want people to connect with that aspect, you know, like to be empowered by it in a lot of different ways.